Happy Monday, everybody. It is my second workout for the day. I What, what time is it? It's 9 a.m. And I've already gone for my run this morning. I did a 6K run. And now I'm doing hanging, handstands, mobility, and flow. But I'm starting with this <coughs> metabolic flush for my golfer's elbow by using this physical therapy floss band. If you want to get one, you can use the link in the description, which of course helps our channel out at no cost to you by using our affiliate links. So what this is doing is I'm, I'm tying this so tight that it forces all of the, well, not all of the blood, but it forces blood out of the area. And the, the tendons that are, that get inflamed, that, that cause, that are the cause of golfer's elbow, they have very low blood supply compared with muscles. And so by doing this, what we do is we force, um, I can never remember the word, the, the, the term for it. Blood exchange, maybe, let's call it. You know, the exchange of, of blood, oh, it's brutal, from the tendons with new oxygenated blood. Because right now, this is forcing all the blood out of that area. Well, not all of it, but I'm sure you know what I mean. And I'm, you know, I'm flossing the muscles and the fascia by taking my wrist and elbow through full range of motion. And it's a really, really effective way to speed up the healing for things like golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, wrist sprains, wrist, you know, wrist injuries. It's also really good for ankles and knees. Um, you watch what happens here, you'll see. And it's very, very uncomfortable. So look, see how it's all white. Now watch all the blood rush back into the area. See there how it's gone all pink now? So yeah, really, 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 really cool thing to do. Very, very quick. And I do this two, two times a day is probably what I actually do. I'd like to say that I do it three times, but I usually forget to do it the third time. Today I am, I'm really making a change this week with my training in that basically just when I start, when I reflect on my training, the biggest thing that I can improve over the past three months is to make my training sessions less stressful. And what I normally do is normally, because my routine is that I get up at 5 a.m., I come down to my office, I don't drink coffee straight away um, because it's, a, it's really good to wait 90 minutes to two hours before you have caffeine. I can't remember how to explain this um, physiologically. Uh, it's to do with the, um, the adrenal glands and, and how they... Um, produce adrenaline and if you have caffeine straight away it, it basically what it does is however however it's explained you go and watch the andrew huberman podcast on it google caffeine morning 90 minutes andrew huberman something like that and he explains it but basically um you can avoid the crash at lunchtime from caffeine if you don't drink coffee within the first 90, 60 minutes to 90 minutes of waking up. And I've tested it and it really worked on me instantly, like the first day that I didn't have coffee straight away. So I don't do that anymore. Jeez, that one was really tight. Woo! Oh man. So I don't do it anymore. I don't have coffee first thing in the morning. Anyway, anyway so I get up, 10 past five, come down. Uh, I go to the toilet, get dressed, come downstairs, turn on my computer, and I start work immediately. And what I, what I do first thing in the morning is I do coaching for everybody in the UMS online coaching uh, tribe. So if you didn't know, we provide one-on-one -on -one personal coaching, personal training for people online. And if you didn't know, it's only $49 a month, and you get custom programs from it. So there's my little plug. <laughs> unintended but anyway so i come online i do all the all my coaching because most of our members are over in america and the uk and europe so they're in different time zones to us so people are posting videos when i'm asleep so i get up i respond to everybody's questions i answer everybody's messages i make changes to people's programs 
And then I go this morning on a Monday, I went for a run. I do a run on Monday morning. I take one of my dogs for a run. I do that at 7 a.m. after I've done my morning coaching uh, to about 7.30. It's about a 30 minute run. And then I come back and spend a bit of time with my family. And in my diary, what I'm meant to do is I'm meant to come down after that and go straight into my training session, what I'm doing right now. But what I've been doing, and I know this is a really long story, but what I have been doing in the past, which is really bad, is I've been coming down and I've been opening up my computer. No, that's too much. And reacting, basically, to everything. Because there's so much stuff that we react to online. For me, on an, running an online business, I have comments on all our social channels that I need to respond to. People are asking questions on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, or there's emails, you know, text messages, whatever it is. My team, you know, I've got team members that work for us around the world that edit our videos and do all that stuff. And, you know, you react to it. You, 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 your diary says that you're meant to do this, but then you find yourself reacting to whatever's been done. So then when I do that, and I often start my training session an hour later than what it says in my schedule, which means that I start my training session in a stressed state where I'm like, oh, this is stressful. And I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, ah, oh, shit. And your mind starts thinking of what you're going to have to cut back on after the scheduled training session. And so I made myself a commitment on the weekend. I said that this week and from now on, well, I actually said I'm just going to do it this week because that's a good way to make um, new habits, to make change. Just set yourself a goal from week to week. I said, I am going to come downstairs after I've spent time with my family and I'm not even going to open my computer. I am going to go straight into my workout. And that's what I've done today. And so I feel really good. I feel like I'm on track for my goals. So... Pretty cool. That's how we make change, people. We come up with a plan and we do it no matter what. And it's hard to do. It's hard to break habits. You know, for me, my habit was, you know, I run this online business. So I come downstairs and my mind wants to see what I have to do, what, what people need my help, what do I need to get done now? And it's not the... Um, it hasn't helped my training at all. It hasn't, it's meant that I've gone into my workouts quite stressed and feeling like I'm running behind and I don't want that anymore. I want my workouts to really feel positive and you know, like it's exactly what I'm meant to be doing right now. So here we are, feeling good, day one. And uh, I do, I do this foam rolling here. I find the, um, you can see I did a little bit on my adductors, which is good, which is this here. If you watch what I do here, I do a bit on my adductors. I find that this really helps with my middle splits work that I'm about to do. It's a good warm up. I'm doing middle splits in this workout. Okay. A bit of adductors here, and then I do the um, uh, vastus medialis, the inner part of the quadricep, and then I do the vastus intermedius and rectus femoris, the middle part of the quadricep, and then this is where the real work sort of starts the vastus lateralis the outside part of the quadricep and the tfl the tensor fascia lata up the top here which is a hip flexor and these these always need a bit of work for me they're the sorest part of my um sort of lower body and then i do a little bit of it band For the IT band, you've really got to roll back over onto the hamstring and then forward onto the quadricep. And you work your way up towards the hips. And for me, I find this really helps with lower back pain. 
and um, and just general tightness in the around the hips and the stuff that pulls me into an anterior pelvic tilt. And now I'll do a little bit on my lumbar spine and I'm shifting my weight to one side here. Well, it's not my lumbar, I'm going right up my back, aren't I? And then change sides. on the old lat. My lats, I'm about to do a bunch of um, flexibility work on my lats in this workout. And so this is a nice way to warm it up. extension this is a big part of physical development for anyone I reckon I've very rarely met anybody that wouldn't benefit from increased thoracic extension <laughs> Oh man, my grip on my left hand is feeling quite weak at the moment. I'm gonna need to do some more grip crushing again, especially on my left hand. Tough exercise this one, for many reasons. Part of it is just the discipline of doing a set that goes for so long.
Oh, I feel tight on this one this morning. Actually, just realized I didn't do any hip warm up. It's really important to not push yourself with flexibility training and mobility training if you, you know, if, if you feel tight. You just work what you can do. I've had some really nasty tears in my groin and adductors from trying to force my splits because, you know, I did it better yesterday and I was thinking, well, this is crap. I know I can do better than this. And I couldn't do better than that today. I should have just listened to my body. A lot of bad injuries, a lot of wasted training time, healing from muscle tears. If I had a, when I could have just listened to my body and avoided it. <clears throat> Woo. Yeah, buddy. Oh. I'm so much stronger at this than I was a couple of years ago. I couldn't do a single rep on my toes the way that I can now. <sighs> All right, I'm doing a second round to get more, more volume. Oh shit, forgot to start my timer.
Oh, that's brutal. Some calluses are starting to cause me problems now. God, it just punishes your hands doing that stuff. Oh, man. Oh, this is so much work on my right shoulder after the slap tear. Elbows are sliding out. Come on. lat tricep insertion stretch is so tough for me especially on the right shoulder and my right shoulder um, had a more significant injury on it than my left shoulder I was going to say my right shoulder is worse than my left shoulder but I really believe that the language that we use when we describe ourselves is very powerful and my right shoulder isn't worse than my left shoulder. Otherwise that becomes the reinforced belief. And I don't want that. So a more accurate thing to say would be the injury was more significant. Anyway, it's a tough exercise for me. But that's all the more reason to do it and get better at it.
Now for some middle splits. So I always do this end range. Well, I do a end range contraction first. And this is what I'm doing at the moment. So this is to contract the glutes really hard at end range. Which is a big part of middle splits. It's a big part of all flexibility is to be strong in the opposing muscles at end range. It's really hard to do. Bye, baby. Have fun. This is my second workout for today. I did a, I did a run this morning. I think it's about five k's, about twenty-five minutes for me. And uh, this is my second workout now.
and haven't eaten anything yet. I'm, uh, I don't eat anything on Monday mornings <sighs> before my workout. And the reason I don't eat anything on Monday morning before my workout is because I didn't work out on Sunday and Friday and Saturday were deload days. So I don't really need the calories to build muscle, which is why I normally eat a lot of calories. And also, because I'm doing cardio Monday morning, it's a good way to burn fat, is to do cardio in a fasted state. And so I just do that once a week. Come on. So when I finish this workout, it's, it's 10.25 now. It'll probably be about 11.30. And that's when I'll go and have my first meal for the day. Okay, come on. I just bumped my parallel, so I've got to fix them up. All right. Oh. 
Proper cooked. Okay. Let's get this done. Oh my God. It is so taxing going from handstands straight into flexibility training like that. But it's very efficient. <coughs> Just why I do it. Because now when I finish, I'm not doing flexibility work between the fourth and fifth set. And then when I finish the fifth set, I've done some really good flexibility training for my uh, middle split. So it's a good, <coughs> good use of time. set. Well, it's good, you know, 
It's 10.30 and I've just got to go upstairs and do my flow work. It's normally later in the day. When I've been training the old way that I used to do it, so it's good. It's been a good, it's been a good start to the day. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about this week. How can I, how can I get these workouts done right when I'm meant to do them? And be in a better headspace when I'm doing them so that I can really produce good results. Because some is always better than none, so like getting anything done is better than doing nothing. But I really want to optimize my workouts this week. And for the next three months, I think that's where the biggest win is for me at the moment, is to optimize my workouts, make them more efficient, more productive, more energize something that makes me feel good more empowering okay come on last one God, I'm so exhausted. <sighs> oh man, I'm gonna have to pull a rabbit out of a hat to make to make this work this morning really lack the flexibility required for this move. It requires a lot of hip external rotation. I just don't have very good external rotation. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh man, I'm looking forward to a meal, I can tell you that right now. Ah, oh, repetition, repetition, repetition. I was watching these the other day, I'm getting better at these. Getting a bit more weight in my hands. So that's good. Man, I'm really feeling it <coughs> energy-wise. Oh man, I'm really, really cooked at this stage. my tutorial video for this one again make sure I'm doing something right <laughs> 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 